Cryptocurrencies have been one hot tamale lately. Bitcoin is back over 50,000, Ethereum is pushing 3,500, and even Solana is above $160. Now, with all that being said, it is a completely different crypto that is stealing all of the headlines, and I'm talking about Shiba Inu. And really, it's for a good reason. Thus far in early October, SHIB is up over 150% and it's currently trading at 0.000019. And according to CoinMarketCap, in the past 24 hours, it's traded more than 11.5 billion dollars. And in fact, as I'm filming this, hashtag Shiba Army is currently trending on Twitter. This is absolutely insane. And it's more than fair for you to be asking, what in the world is going on? Now in this video, I'll be answering what is SHIB, giving you a little bit of a history of it, and then I'll be sharing my own personal opinions on this cryptocurrency. Now before we get into all the exciting stuff, I do want to give you a quick word of warning. I am by no means a crypto expert, and I'm definitely not a SHIB expert. In fact, everything I know about it, I just learned to create this video. For quite a while, I was pushing it off just because I thought it was another meme coin. I didn't really think it was worth my time, but recently, I'm seeing so many more people talk about it that I thought it was at least worthwhile to dive into. But just so you know, I also do have a small position. Now, I never bought it. It was gifted to me by Voyager when I filled out one of their questionnaires, and I have no plans on buying any any extra or selling what I currently have. I'm just going to stay flat on my own personal money. So I'm attempting to give you the most unbiased opinion of SHIB that I possibly can. So what is Shiba Inu? What is SHIB? It's an ERC-20 compatible crypto that definitely started out as a meme. In fact, they even admitted it that it started out as a meme. But more recently, it's taking on more of a, I guess, a serious application that really revolves around community governance and community building. And it's that latter part that I found to be specifically interesting. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, I mainly create content related to AMC and GME. And I honestly think that's one of the most interesting parts about both of these stocks is the fact that they have such a, a strong community. There's that special aspect of psychological wildfire. So when I saw that Sheeb was really centering about this community building, it definitely, it at least caught my interest. She was created in August of 2020 by an unknown person who goes by the name of Ryoshi. And at first there was a bit of excitement, but that quickly died off. And there wasn't really a resurgence until early 2021. And it kind of aligned with when Dogecoin started to go haywire. So to my understanding, you can best think of it as some sort of sympathy play. And a little bit after that, in March of 2021, there was another resurgence because our boy Elon Musk, a person who is well known to have a strong influence on the entire cryptocurrency sector, announced that he himself would be buying a Shiba Inu dog as a pet. Then if we fast forward to April, that's when the SHIB team released the official white paper, also referred to as the Wolf paper for obvious reasons. And then a little bit later in May, don't forget, that's when Elon was on SNL and that had a lot of relations to do with Dogecoin. And at that point, all dog-based cryptocurrencies were going kind of a bit nutty. But also within May, that's when the Ethereum creator Buterin ended up burning almost half of the supply of SHIB. Now, if you haven't heard of crypto burning before, I'm gonna explain that in a little bit, but basically he destroyed kind of half of the circulating supply. Then halfway through the year, the SHIB team released the second version of the Wolf paper, and this was promptly followed in July by the drop of ShibaSwap, which is a DeFi exchange. This allows its users to provide liquidity, they can stake, and now they could even buy NFTs, and it kind of involves an entire ecosystem around SHIB that has some other coins referred to as Bone and Leash, and that's something that I do think is pretty interesting and worthwhile for everyone watching this to take a little look into. Not really much happened in August, which is kind of the common sentiment for almost all markets in August of 2021. But in September, SHIB did make its official debut on Coinbase Pro about halfway through the month. But just so you know, its first big official listing happened back in May when it was put on Binance. And now that kind of brings us to what's going on with SHIB in real time. It's making headlines, it's trending on Twitter, and it's up a pretty hefty percentage. And a lot of you are probably watching this video for the most reasonable question of, 
Is it gonna keep going or is the rug gonna get pulled? Now, before I get into this part of the video, the price prediction part, I need to remind you, you have to do your own DD. I am not a financial advisor. I'm not a fortune teller to the best of my understanding. I'm not clairvoyant. And really when it comes to the markets, they very much live in the gray area. Nothing is ever going to be guaranteed whatsoever. I think it's great that you're watching this to learn a little bit about sheep, but don't let your curiosity end here. You got to dive into it because at the end of the day, it is your own money and you got to take responsibility for your own financial health. I am more than happy to share my opinions and I do want to share my opinions, but I guess split into two different parts. I want to talk about the psychology of what's going on and then also more of the fundamentals of sheep. As I've previously stated, I am by no means a crypto expert, definitely not a SHIB expert. In fact, I've mainly been following the narrative, the storyline of both AMC and GME. And one of the main takeaways I have from that over the past 10 months is how incredibly powerful a large devoted community is. So with that being said, that is definitely a check in the pros column for SHIB because, I mean, it's trending on Twitter. So many headlines. This is a very ravenous group that is excited about what's going on. They see the potential. They see the hope. And I've learned from AMC and Jimmy, you cannot discount the power of a massive, massive community. On more of a fundamental note, SHIB has currently a circulating supply of about 400 trillion with a T coins and it's trading at like I said 0 0.000019 and the big question is can hit this hit one cent 10 cents I mean I even saw people calling out a dollar and with those kind of numbers I mean if you just look at the market cap this would this wouldn't be bigger than Bitcoin this would be bigger than all crypto put together so at what's currently going on I think some of those high predictions are not the most reasonable but when you really start diving into what's going on with SHIB, you're going to start reading about things referred to as auto burn and burning. And this is kind of relating to what Buterin did back in May when he burned about half the supply. Now, for those of you who don't know, burning a token means kicking tokens out of the circulating supply by locking them or sending them to an unused wallet address. This is also referred to as a dead wallet. Now, this makes sense because when you're talking about supply and demand and the equilibrium being the price, if you cut down supply, but demand stays the same or even goes up, that means that the price can also go up. So for people who have lofty goals for what SHIB is looking for, please be paying attention to any news related to burning of SHIB. Now, for me personally, I'm neither bullish or bearish. I'm just trying to share what's going on with this situation so you feel more informed as a viewer. Now, if you happen to absolutely hate SHIB and you just think it's a pump and dump, that's perfectly fine. I just suggest avoiding it and don't even think about it. Now, if you happen to be very bullish on SHIB, I hope you absolutely destroy it. I hope you make a boatload of money because it makes me happy when any of my viewers have a nice success like that. But I am here to remind you, please respect your risk to reward. Don't forget, you got to take care of your own financial health, which means you should never be betting more money than you're willing to lose. Now, if you haven't already, I would truly appreciate it if you could hit that like button. And if you want to be a member of the Moon Gang, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button. That type of engagement truly does help me with the YouTube algorithm. And until I catch you next time, I hope you have an absolutely phenomenal day.